the operator sits in that little cubicle up there and he's 135 feet above ground. He gets a bird's eye view of the whole city. Yeah. And he gets up there in that elevator you see on the other leg over there. Except sometimes in the wintertime. It gets iced up or whatever, it won't operate. Then he's got to go to the other side of the leg and climb up by hand. <laughs> but anyhow, and the whole thing is operated with one large diesel engine. It has the green part itself is all uh, hydraulically operated, and the uh, big generator up there, which operates the current for the motors that are on each wheel. And those motors have to be heated 24/7 because you can't have any moisture or anything getting inside of there because it would pretty much raise havoc with it. The crane goes up and down the dock at about uh, three miles per hour, and as they're coming into this, like say this end or the other end to tie down, their sensing device is built right into the track. And as you're coming in, and you get to that sensing device, it'll automatically slow it down. You go a little bit farther and it slows it down some more. And when you get within about two feet of the end, there are hydraulic rams on here kind of like shock absorbers, and they hit that abutment, and then when it walks in real slow, you'll be hear a loud clunk, and that's some yellow dogs locking it down so it can't go anywhere. Once it's in and secured, they can go ahead and shut their main engine down, and when they do that, on the other leg there's a, a large power cable. You plug that in, and that'll keep the motors on the... Uh, and it, on the drive wheels, it'll keep them warm and dry. Mm -hmm. The operator has a weather alert radio in there, and there's also a wind indicator. If the wind gets up to X number of miles per hour, the alarm will sound. And when the alarm sounds, you stop everything, and you come down, and you got to tie the crane down. You can't operate in. I forget what the miles per hour wind is. It's pretty good gusting. So you have to come down and tie it up. 